our team get like Zillow leads and stuff like that. So I turned my leads on this morning because I can turn my leads on and I can like turn them off. So anyways, I turned my leads on because I'm like, I need to meet four new buyers that are looking to purchase this year in 2024. That's my goal, like to meet face-to-face, -face, have face-to-face -face time with like four different unique set of buyer clients. So I turned my leads on. The first call I got was a guy that he's already familiar with the area and the house is set to be torn down. So he just wanted to make an offer on it. So I was like, okay, I can assist with that. So we didn't even go look at the property and I'm gonna be going back home later to write that offer up and send that over to him to have it signed. And we'll see how it goes because a lot of times people be like, oh yeah, like I wanna make this offer, this and that. And then when it comes time for them to sign off on everything, it's like they get cold feet. Then the second call that I got actually that call we lost connection like i never even spoke with the person so i was like okay whatever and then the third call that i got today i actually did speak with someone so she is interested in purchasing in waxall north carolina which is like 45 minutes from the charlotte area so i was like oh my god like that's a lot of driving time and then i like every time someone wants to see a house like there's stuff that i have to do to prepare for it like i have to look up all the property information the disclosures um you know just do like a little bit of research on that property before like I actually show it hold on y'all I'm turning into my office right now okay I just pulled in front of my office but yeah I really don't have long to talk to y'all because I literally need to get going in a few minutes but she was looking in the wax out area and I always like research the property and everything and so I started printing out all of the sheets and everything and then I was like oh like I don't have any buyer folders like I need some more buyer folders so now that's why like I'm at my office Oh my god but yeah we have all of our marketing materials and i just need to grab some more buyer folders so i don't so i don't have to keep coming back to the office i think i'm gonna grab like five two three four five one two three four five and then i need some more of these we have like but our loan officer, um, I really think that's all I need. I don't want to be late because this is going to be my first time meeting them. Like I said, I just got the call today. So anyways, guys, I'm on my way to Waxall and I'm going to get there really early. So I'll be able to show you guys the property before the client gets there. Last night, I stayed up late, like writing down my goals for my real estate business or whatever. And I was doing like my conversions on how many leads I need to take, how many conversations I need to have, and all of that. And so when I actually broke that down from like the incoming leads that I get, like say for example, I speak with 10 people that are inbound leads and I have those 10, conversa 10 conversations. Out of those 10 conversations, usually I can get an appointment, it's my pattern, that I can get an appointment with at least four of those individuals. So that's a 40% a conversion rate from having a conversation with them to actually a booked appointment and then from there from people that I actually meet and have an appointment with like a face-to-face -face appointment I've seen that my conversion is like close to 40 percent to where like we end up closing on a house I need to meet a total of what did I say eight people per month so my goal for this weekend is I wanted to meet four people like today's Saturday and it's already like two o'clock or whatever and this is my first appointment that I'm going on so my goal is to meet four people this weekend so I did I do have the person that I'm writing that offer for a little bit later on I'm meeting up with this person right now and so really to still meet my goal I need to meet three more people between today and tomorrow Sunday but while I've been driving, I've also been looking up just more information. The more you know as a real estate agent, especially if you're a new real estate agent who is watching this video, the more you know about the house and the more you know about the area, the more just confident you're going to feel, um, the more just like knowledgeable you'll seem to the client. Also, I have ate at one of the restaurants down here. So another way that I can like insert my local expertise of this particular city, I don't spend a lot of, a lot of time some, 
a lot of times in Waxhaw, but I have done like a few open houses in this area before. And so the other thing that I can do at the very end of our tour is like ask them if they plan to hang out or have any plans in Waxhaw or whatever, and let them know about um, the one restaurant that I ate at and give them like a really good restaurant local recommendation. So it's just like all kind of things that you can do to present your value as a real estate agent when you're meeting clients for the first time. Also, I already looked up the pricing for this neighborhood. So yeah, I feel like very prepared. I wanna show y'all the Waxhaw area. It's so like cute and quaint. It's so different from like the Charlotte area. But me and my husband, we ate over here once. I think it's called Ever em Emmett. Emmett, that's where we ate. So that would be like a good like local restaurant recommendation that I would be able to give to them. So I just pulled into the neighborhood and this is like what the houses are looking like so far. You just get a glimpse of the neighborhood. Also, um, I noticed that Waxhaw Elementary School is located right across the street from this subdivision. So um, when I get to the house, I'm actually gonna look up how far the middle and high school is, which is Parkwood. So I'm pulling up to the house right now. Someone is already parked there. So hopefully these people, oh, they're leaving now. This house is literally freaking gorgeous. Like, it looks so freaking gorgeous. I feel like the inside is just gonna be so freaking beautiful and I cannot wait to see it in person. Like, I love new construction, like, and I'm a total advocate for getting new construction. If you have the opportunity, just because like brand new homes, homes that's like never been lived in is, so awesome the fact that it comes with a home warranty and builder's warranty new appliances like and usually before you close the builder will make things right so if there's something that's wrong with the house the builder will generally go in and fix those things prior to you closing on a home whereas with resale homes they are just selling the property and it's as is condition and the seller can say yeah i'll fix that or no i won't take it or leave it type deal but while i wait for them to leave out the driveway i want to show y'all our little folders so I got these folders from our office and then I have this brochure about like a guide to buying your home I have our Zillow home loans representative and yeah and then I also have the property sheets that I printed out at home that I'm gonna put in here along with my business card so I'm gonna go ahead and make this folder while I wait for them to leave the driveway hopefully they leave soon So yeah, I have all my papers in here that I printed out already, along with my business cards. And I also did like a printout of like a pricing analysis for them as well, along with the property disclosures. All right, they just left, so I'm gonna pull out of the street into the actual driveway. This house is so freaking pretty. Also, I booked the um, show in 10 minutes prior to the actual appointment time. So the appointment is at 3.30, but I booked it for 3.20 because I wanted to be sure I got here early to open up the house. Ta-da! Looks very professional. Yay! Outside of the house. I feel like this video really does the house no justice. Like it's so freaking gorgeous. I love the white and black. Okay, so far I like the floor plan. There's a lot of natural lighting. As soon as you come in, this is the great room. This is the living room area, which is super, super nice. And you have this huge entry right here that kind of wraps around to this space. There's a half bath right around here. And then in your kitchen, you do have a gray cabinetry, which is really nice. I love the cabinets at the bottom of here. I love this farmhouse sink as well. It's so nice. Just very well done. Like I said, there is no refrigerator. This would be considered like a pantry area. And then you do have the dining room on this side and it's like one big circle. So it wraps all around the steps to the second level. And then this garage is really nice because you have the windows inside of the garage. So that's a really, really nice feature. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. 
So as soon as you come upstairs, y'all, this owner's robe is literally massive. Like what? And there is so much natural light in. And this bathroom, you have like a double sink area. Look at the towel. There's this nice garden tub here. You also have a stand-up shower. This closet is literally massive, y'all. This is a closet. You can, like the closet, this closet is bigger than my room right now. You have toilet here. And then here is like a little linen closet. But y'all, this bathroom is massive. And wait till I show you. So this is from this angle. You have an additional closet right here. And then you also have this bonus room, like a sitting room inside of your bedroom. Y'all, this is the owner suite. This would be considered just another room that you could do whatever you want. Like, wait, are you kidding me? That's not even a part of the four bedrooms. So then you have this washer dryer room. That's a linen closet. This is the second bathroom on this level. This is bedroom number two, bedroom number three, and bedroom number four. So in total, this property is four bedrooms, two full baths on this level and the half bath on the second level. But like, I cannot get over this design feature of this additional room inside of the owner suite as if the owner suite isn't already big enough. <laughs> and then out back, I'm just gonna show you from this room. It sits on 1.3 acres. It's a little bit over 2,600 square feet, square feet, but you also have like this deck area off of like the kitchen area. So freaking nice. They're coming in right now. Hi. Hi. Pretty good. Yes. I'm Camille. Good nice to meet, to meet you. you. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So now that we're all settled, <laughs> I did print out um, a MLS sheet just so you have it. And um, I also have a buyer folder. There's additional sheet in there with property disclosures, um, the septic system information, which is on the right side of the house. Um, but any information that you have or want to know of, just let me know. Feel free to take your time looking around. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, um, they have the septic and then county water. County water. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. What about, um, shoot, what cable? Oh, yeah, what kind of internet is out there? That I don't know of. They didn't mention any uh, any additional utility information, so I'll find out from the owner. Okay. Yep. In terms of cable, Wi-Fi, and everything like that. Yep. And then, um, gas, too. Mm -mm. No gas at this property. Everything is electric, down to the stove, water heater. Maybe a possibility to put in gas along the mm -hmm. in the future, but, but yeah. No, it's an LVP flooring. Yep. So it's LVP flooring throughout the lower level, and then they did not attach a floor plan this listing agent, but all of the bedrooms are upstairs. So downstairs, one big huge circle, two full baths, and then this one half bath. Yeah, they they probably won't do much more. I do see that a lot with new construction. They just yeah. sod everything down, let the grass do its thing. So I just finished showing the house, as you guys can see, and basically the deal breaker for them was the backyard area. They didn't really show much of the outside of the backyard of the property, but it was like sodded down. A lot of it was like unusable and it was just like rough around the edges. So they were looking for a backyard that is like somewhat a little bit more polished. So they're gonna keep looking and also, it kind of sounds like they were already working with an agent because they do have an agent that is sending them properties in the Millbridge area, but it could be somebody that they just met from an open house, something like that, and they don't really have like real contact with that agent. So I feel like they are going to be someone that I do keep in my CRM system, which is a customer relationship management system where you just keep up with people. I feel like I made a positive connection with them and just really come from value. So we'll see how it goes and where it goes. And I will see if I can find any off market opportunities for them. Uh, it's much, much later. It's about seven o'clock at night. Right now I'm finishing up on that offer that I was telling y'all about earlier and I've switched to something comfortable. So excuse me, I got my baby boy, he's in the bathtub and I ate dinner so I'm all good to go but I wanted to just close out this video and let you 
am I gonna continue tomorrow? I think I'm gonna continue tomorrow. It'll be like a weekend in my life because <laughs> I got a lot going on tomorrow too. But I wanted to just close out this day by telling y'all what my numbers are for today. So today I had six inbound calls and out of those six calls, I was able to set three appointments. So that is a 50% conversion rate for half of the people that I talked to. I was able to set an actual appointment with them and I met one person earlier. And so we'll see because the other two appointments I have is for tomorrow, which it will be Sunday. So we'll see if they actually show up. <laughs> we will see what my numbers are by the end of tomorrow. So I'm about to turn my weeds off at 713. And I kind of feel like if you're calling this late at night about business, not sure if that's somebody I want to do business with, because why are you calling a business establishment at seven o'clock at night? I don't know. It's just kind of like weird. And plus, like, this is like my protected family time. If like, I already don't have a client that I'm working with. So I'm going to cut my weeds off, but I feel pretty good about today having six conversations, which led to three set appointments and by the end of tomorrow we'll see like how many people i actually meet face to face as i was stating earlier in my video my goal is to have 10 conversations this weekend and out of those 10 conversations my goal is to book four like meet people face to face like four booked appointments that i book and that i actually like meet them so um, if both people show up tomorrow, that'd be three out of the four, but I feel like I need to have like at least four more conversations and I'll get my win. So we're going to see if my metrics are working. I'm going to, um, turn my Zillow leads on tomorrow and kind of go from there. I don't know what time we're going to church tomorrow. Like we may go at nine o'clock or probably 11 o'clock. So I may turn it on like early in the morning and see if I can get some conversations going. But tomorrow is going to be another busy day and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Have a good night and I'll see you on day two of this vlog. Hey, good morning. Um, okay, this is my first time. So I was looking at the menu back there. It was the spicy sausage biscuit. And then everything looks so good. I mean, hungry. Um, uh, I think that's all. Thank you so much. All right, you too. Happy Sunday, y'all. I just finished ordering from this place called Canal Coffee here in my local area in Charlotte. And it's gonna be my first time trying it. So I'm really excited to try it out. And then I'm gonna stop by Dunkin Donuts and get me a coffee. I have the two buyer appointments today. So I'm out in Concord right now. I'm about to go meet up with the first clients. But yeah, I'm gonna, let me taste, this is what I got, Canal Coffee. Like that's so cute. Usually when you get a brown paper bag, there's not the branding on the outside. You got black napkins. So I got the spicy jalapeno sausage biscuit their prices are reasonable the base price of the sausage biscuit was 415 so i'm gonna try this it's, it's soft jalapeno biscuit sausage egg and a pepper jack cheese got my Dunkin Donuts I was like I deserve a large today but y'all I'm gonna be paying for this later like it's it's a little bit after 12 o'clock and I've been doing so good with like my eating habits this year I've officially hit my weight goal that I want it to be and it's only the middle of the month which is awesome but if I'm going to continue along this path I have to continue great habits which includes great eating habits so I need to cut it out I don't know if I'm gonna have too much more food today <laughs> It's a little quick fit check, y'all. I look so cute today. I love my outfit. 
but this is the house that I'm showing. The previous agent that was here left the key outside of the lockbox. It's an older house. It was built in the 1900s, so. This house was for it to be this look like so they probably added this part on you see here and you see how this part is like a different slight difference in the level of the flooring so they probably added this part on at some point which is so freaking cute and i love the wood doors that match like the floors super pretty this house was built in 1900 That's so cute. A nice flat backyard, which buyers love. It's a shed, carport. This is so cool. It's like an ironing board with the plug-in right here. Oh, and it folds down. It folds down. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to break anything. So the clients are outside. Hi. Hi. Pretty good. good. <laughs> We're about to head to the next property. They did not like this one, so this one is built in 1900. The next property is brand new construction, so I think they're leaning towards something a little bit more new. I just got done with those clients. I showed them two properties. The first one I showed y'all, the second one, I just had the house like in the background or whatever. And they are extremely motivated. So the motivation is there. Like literally as we were in the house, I can tell by the conversation that they were speaking with another real estate agent on the phone, whose name was Mitch. And they were talking about going to see a property like tomorrow morning, so. I don't know if they have any like loyalty to any agent. I think they're just looking to move as quick as possible. And as long as the house is good, they'll be ready to make a move on it. So in this sort of situation, it's like maybe the best man wins. Like, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna win them over, but you know, I made another positive connection. So if anything, I'm happy about that and I'll be and them to my CRM system and following up. So anyways, guys, right now I'm on my way to Gastonia. It's like an hour from Concord, literally like two opposite ends of Charlotte to go meet with the third home buyer. My leads are turned on. I actually had an incoming call while I was with those clients, but you know, I'm not gonna answer my phone while with another set of clients. So um, yeah, I'll just get the next opportunity when it comes my way. And this is going to be my third appointment this weekend. And I just need one more to close out the day and to meet my goals so i'll catch up with you guys when i meet this very next client oh this is a blind spot yeah i'll catch up with you guys when i meet this very next client and i may give y'all a tour i may not i don't know and i'll see y'all soon I gotta give y'all a recap every time I meet like a buyer or whatever. So the buyer I just showed the home to in Gastonia, she came with her brother and her parents and um, 
yeah, so I was able to further determine like what her needs are, like what type of home she's looking for. And I asked at the very end and if they were working with a real estate agent to show them around. And she said no. The brother said yes. So I'm like, I don't know what to think. Like, do y'all have somebody? So I feel like all the appointments that I had this weekend, let me see. I can't even think of the first people I met with. Hey, I'm getting a brain for it. Let me see. I met two people today. They were both cool, but I don't think that they're loyal to an agent. And then the people that I met yesterday on Saturday, they also seem like, I don't know, they may have an agent, they may not. I don't know. All these people seem like they're kind of working with an agent, but not really. So for me, it's just like how I'm going to convert them. I just got to have like way more communication, send them way more properties, do way more than what the agents that they currently already have is doing so that I can win them over. And then the other thing that I could potentially do is like send them a gift card for coffee, like nice to meet you, something like that. And, um, but I wanted to get on here also to tell y'all that I still have my leads on and I got my last appointment. So I'm going to be meeting my goal for this weekend. And I'm actually on my way to Kannapolis in a little bit, which is like 45 minutes from Gastonia. It's like, I'm going East Charlotte to West Charlotte back to East Charlotte. So, but I'm happy because that's my, that's the goal that I set for myself is to meet four new buyers. And after this appointment at six o'clock, I will have met my goal and I can go home and turn my leads off for the rest of the day and just work with the, you know, new relationships that I have just established. So I'm really excited about that. I did stop by and get some Popeyes because my husband is hungry. So I'm gonna stop by the house and I'm gonna drop off his Popeyes. I may stick around for like Five, 10 minutes and then I'm gonna head out to Kannapolis and then I'm gonna come back home and I'm relaxed and I'm gonna join the rest of my Sunday with my family. Okay y'all it's much later I'm at the last property of the day so um yeah I have got to show y'all this cute property before the client gets here because it's staged so freaking pretty so this is one of the bedrooms. Of course, you all know what this is, but it's an older home. It was built in the 1900s and they completely redid everything. This is like an extra bonus room, like sitting area, which is nice. Super cute table decor. So freaking cute. And this is the last bedroom. This is considered the primary. And it has a walk-in shower. I love when listing agents take the time to provide staging and then the washer dryer would be here. It's gonna be a stackable unit. And this is my last showing of today. Four appointments this weekend. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Camille. Hi, daughter-in-law. That's my son. Feel free to go on in. They have it nicely staged for you. <laughs> okay, y'all. I just finished up with my last appointment of the day. I feel like out of all four people that I met this weekend, that one kind of seemed the most promising because she just started her home search and she really didn't have anyone that she mentioned. Like she seemed very, very new to this the first home she looked at was actually with me which was a good sign so that was uh, super exciting the only thing with that showing is that she brought her son and her daughter-in-law and they were like super nitpicky about everything like and the house was built in 1930 and they you know of course like renovated and everything so it was like small things but like like super small y'all so but I let her know, like, with any house, like, it's going to have some imperfections. Like, you're not going to have a perfect house, especially if the home is older. Like, there's going to be something. But for that home specifically, like, for the most part, they did a great job with the renovations. So, I will be giving all of my new buyer prospects a call this week. And I may do a vlog about that. But, yeah, right now I'm headed home. And by the time I get home, it'll be about 7 o'clock. So that's where I'm going to end my work day for the most part and spend time with my family because I haven't really spent quality time with my family this weekend because I've been so busy with real estate and work and stuff. So, yeah. But I'm going to take next weekend off because it's my son's birthday. So, and I'll have family in town. So I will not be working next weekend. 
which is why I had to go so hard this weekend and I met my goals so I'm so proud of myself I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of me like getting leads and trying to convert them into appointments and of course after you you know meet with them it does take time for you to then convert them to close but the key is to stay consistent so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. If you're a new real estate agent, keep going, keep at it. If you're a seasoned real estate agent, keep going, keep at it, and remain consistent and disciplined on your goals. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching.